I'm really enjoying how we're challenging each other to the, the various things that active presenter and premier pro can do. So I looked at some of the things that we were looking at this morning, and I'm going to show you how they how some of them work. First, audio normalization. To normalize audio, you select it and press audio normalization. It uh, removes the DC offset, if you like, and it normalizes peak amplitude to minus three. And there you are. Um, fade in, zoom and pan, and highlighting. Reb, you were showing us fading out and fading in. Here's Here's the way that that um, active presenter does it. We have a black shape, here it is, and it's going to fade out. And we'll look at that. And how Let's it take works. a look at adjusting the late penalty settings for an assignment. Then we're going to look at how Active Presenter can very easily zoom and pan onto various parts of this video. And we'll look at that. Here are the zoom and pans. There are going to be three of them. Number one, number two, right after some highlighting, and number three. Number three was actually copied from number one. I just copied and pasted it. But let's see how it works. I mean, after the due date is passed. By default, these settings cannot be changed for an already passed due date. However, let's say you decide you want to remove the 20% penalty that you had originally applied. If you move the original due date into the future. Um, zooming in just makes things a little bit easier to see. And highlighting, um, this is one of our standard highlights. Again, it makes things easier to see, draws the, um, the customer's attention. You can change the highlight however you like. The highlight has the highlight has color. It has very little opacity, but we can make it more opaque. Yeah, that's about nice. And see, we can we can see the number, which tells us how opaque uh, the highlight is. We can save the highlight. And then we can use it again. Moving on. These options are now editable. You can simply remove the penalty. And again, we've um, we've done a zoom and pan, which These is. These options are now editable. You can simply remove the penalty. Just moving to another place on the, the screen. Penalty. After making your adjustments, return your due date. Back and there's the your third zoom and pan. So it, it looks very nice, it looks very smooth, and it's quite easy to do. All right, blur effect. We knew we meant them. Here is an image. It's not the ideal thing to blur, but whatever. We're going to edit that image in a nice little drawing program that Active Presenter has. Here's the blur. We just select it, and there's the blur. And that's a that's a thing, so we can we can take it out again, select it, and it's gone, or control and see it, or escape from it. Active presenter versions, so you don't screw up your original image, and you just get out of here by by clicking it. You'll see that later. Here is a way of blurring video. I'm blurring out the initial closed captioning because I'm going to demonstrate closed captioning, which I did in another video. So here's the blur, it begins here. And, oops, we're going to select that blur and we'll see what happened to it because here's a keyframe. The blur shrinks after the keyframe. The blur is actually animated. Very easy to fill in 
for videos, you just use the blur area, and for images, you use the drawing to it. So animations. Animations are good. I like animations. Um, we don't use them as much, but there are some simple animation tools. Here's one. There's a custom path and a fade out. These are actually two different kinds of animation tools. This is entrance effects, which are applied to um, a whatever, an image, a shape. And this is an exit effect. And these are animation effects. Whoops, no, that's an animation effect. We also have the ability to do custom paths or shaped paths. Let's look at a quick shaped path. You can, of course, edit this. Um, so here is a shaped path in combination with um, a video. Let's, let's see how it looks. So round and round it goes. Here is a somewhat more complex shaped path with in combination with a video. And um, watch the, the earth as it spins. And I don't know if you can see this, but it has a black image around it. And if we actually edited this so it came in front of the sun, I think we could see that better. And it's actually back at the sun, isn't it? Oh, it's not horrible. Well, we could we could move it in front of the sun. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I think that's at about six, six seconds. Let's scrub that back. Yeah. And um, it's actually behind the sun, which is image 10. We can rename that as the sun is in front of it, but uh, it's, it's in front of these two shapes. Let me show you those shapes. Again, they have, um, they have stuff going on. They're pissing, they're spinning, they're, they're clear. But clearly this is not as good as we would like. So the last thing to show you, we've been looking at properties. Uh, we haven't been looking at green screening, so here is a video that has been green screened. The Earth is circling around this complex and variegated background, but there's no nasty black square. How did we do it? We've created a green screened GIF of the Earth, turned it into a video. We import the Earth with the green screened background. Select the green background with the eyedropper and the green background goes invisible. So now we have a, a video which has no background and that can be very useful.